Hi guys and welcome back to Surviving Mars here on the channel. It's been a couple of days actually since we visited the Red Planet, so let's just give you guys a little brief reminder of what's going on if you need it. I certainly know I do. So we landed our rocket here last time out. We built a couple of things. We've got a concrete extractor working over here, getting us some, well, wouldn't you know, get, wouldn't you know it, concrete. Um, being powered here by this little sort of system, we've got some solar panels here, some wind turbine up here, and that's powering this uh, little storage battery, which is currently full of power. That powers this so the concrete extractor can work through the night and our waste rock from that is being dumped there. It's just, you know, it's a bit above half capacity right now, but nothing really to worry about. Down here, we've got our dome being built, which will house our human inhabitants when they get here. We've got a little power system going on here with some life support, oxygen, eh, sorry, water tanks, water extractor, an oxygen um, moxie generator, and then some oxygen tanks, which are flowing in through these pipes, as you can see, into our dome here. And down here, we're just going to build some power generation for the dome as well. So we've got the, the drones getting stuck into that. Uh, and that's that's what we're going to see happening, hopefully, as we begin today. So let's speed the game up. Let's get those drones doing their work. This little guy, for example, is coming down here to start building the power generators here. Wind turbine has got one concrete out of four. We also have one uh, machine parts. We have completed our research for low G drive. Um, which is that one. Drones and rovers move 25% faster, so that's going to help us with build speed and stuff. That is excellent news. That has unlocked our ability to build drone swarms. Uh, drone hubs are constructed with an additional two drones, and the maximum number of drones is increased by 80, which sounds massive at the minute. <laughs> really does. Um, so we will research that eventually, but currently we are on low G hydrosynthesis which will allow us to make a polymer factory which produces polymers from water and fuel which is exactly what we need and it also allows us to get a fuel refinery which produces fuel from water. As you can see we also have low on resource polymers so if we were managed to get a factory to build those that would be excellent for us here. How many polymers do we actually have left? Uh, we have two currently, two, so we are very much low on those. Our little drones are building a wind turbine, that's it, got its machine parts and is that two of four concrete, one of four, zero of four, so they're taking, it does take quite a while, I mean, they are having to travel here, uh, what's here, that's, that was polymers, there's two metals, two of 18, concrete, one of 180, um, the stores over here also running low, one concrete, 16 metals, so we are running low on stuff, quite frankly. Um, anything lying around? It's quite dark. I mean, I know it's night time at the moment, but it's really difficult for me to see if there's any surface metals or anything lying about. I mean, there's concrete over here, for example, which we'll extract later on. Yeah, there's some surface metals down there, 15 of them. Let's grab our RC transport to help to come pick up those metals. Why is it not doing anything? Load resources, metals, it's not doing it for some reason. It's going to travel to here now. Oh, it can't, it's at capacity. I'm being stupid. Let's get it to unload its metals down here. Another sector has scanned and has no resources. It's not great. Uh, so that's all those metals stored there, and we'll pick up some more from down here. Just getting back into the swing of things. Our dome seems to not have any power at the minute, which is very weird. Why is that? It's got power cable going to it. Are we attaching the cable to the wrong bit or something? Or does it not have enough power maybe? Yeah, I think it doesn't have enough. It uses 15 power. What are these guys creating? Five an hour, five an hour, five an hour. All right. So clearly it's pretty pretty heavy on the juice. I think it might become more heavy on the juice when we build internal buildings within the dome. Let's just have a look here. Um, homes, education and research. Living quarters, for example. Yeah, consumes one power. So we need more down here, way more. 
that little line there we can see is the influence of that drone hub so it needs to be within that uh, but we certainly can do let's just build a couple more things we'll build solar panels down here close as we can to the dome build a good few of them costs four metal to produce so not costly at all to make those solar panels we'll also make a couple more of these wind turbines which does cost concrete and uh, metal parts so it is a bit uh, sorry machine parts so it is a bit more heavy on the old costs uh, but let's just get everything in just now power cables here to connect these things up put one there just connecting to that so that solar panel can do its job the other ones should already be connected to the network and we just have to connect a cable there and that should connect both those wind turbines to the network so I'm ready at the moment to send for some colonists let's do it let's get them into the dome um, what will they need when they get here let's see They'll need some living quarters. Yep. Yep. Costs 10 concrete. Wow, that's pretty heavy, actually. Let's just start queuing it up. There's some living quarters for them. What else will they need? A research lab, somewhere to work. Yep, get that in there. Playground for the children. Mm, don't want children at the moment. Nor a school. Nor a nursery. What else? Space bar. Everybody needs a bar, obviously which costs 15 concrete, 5 metal, it's perfectly fine. Um, a diner as well as a bar, obviously. Now, by the way, I believe I've mentioned this before, I really don't know the optimal way of playing this game. I'm just having a bit of fun here. What would I need if I was to build a dome that I was actually going to use? Grocers, uh, gym for some health. Get that in there. Security station reduces sanity loss from disasters. Eh. Counters crime created by renegades. I don't think we need that at the minute. Art workshop costs polymers. Um, electronic store costs electronics, which is kind of crap. Gives comfort. Um, infirmary visitors will recover health and sanity okay we definitely want that I'm assuming health and sanity are pretty good things like they are in you know reality so there's not enough power to put that in at the moment but that is fine because we're generating some more when we get those guys up and running now what I think I want to do given the concrete levels here 141 left and the fact that it only produces 12 per day that's super super slow right how do I unclick there we go given all that I think we need to get into this concrete 907 there there's quite a lot there but it's going to take a while to expand all the way to that sector so I think we want to go in here it's a sector beside one that we're already using get that concrete the only trouble is going to be actually getting something out there so we can get the drones to build the concrete machine so um, how do we do this we can't build a drone hub can we infrastructure drone hub we need prefabs to build it or we need a technology to know how to build it we don't know that so we need to send for a rocket if we're going to do that malfunctioning cable now for a malfunctioning cable like this one here as you can see it's sparking the drone just deals with that so there's nothing we can actually do oh there's waste rock there for some reason I don't know why that is does this produce it it does produce waste rock all right let's get a waste rock dumping site shall we just put that over there it is within the drones area of influence so they should start transporting the waste rock out there for example he is just now carrying one waste rock out there good good um, in terms of the dome the dome is consuming 16 power apparently should be fine 
Got the living quarters up and going. Do you know what? I don't know what to do. <laughs> do we start expanding over here? Get a drone hub prefab sent from Earth? Expand down here, get the concrete on the go? Or do we just get our colonists in? Um, either way, I think we need a rocket. It's just what kind of rocket? Resupply or passenger? Ah, oh, screw it. The whole thing's about getting a colony, isn't it? Why not? Let's get one. Categories, age group. We don't want children. Nope, definitely not. We don't want seniors. Middle-aged. Approaching retirement, still able to work. Nah, let's thumbs down them as well. Adult, yes, absolutely. Youth, able to work in all buildings. Absolutely. So we want youths and adults really to get out here to start building up the colony. Specializations, scientists, engineers, security, botanists, medic. We don't really care that much. Medics will be pretty good to have. Uh, other than that, doesn't really matter. Male or female doesn't matter. Perks, none of that really matters. Flaws, we don't want any of them. Preferably, we wouldn't have any people with any flaws. I don't think, don't know if that's possible. Male or female, as they don't matter, no flaws. What about quirks? Guru randomly spreads other traits of this colonist. Hmm, suppose. Tourists, no, doesn't work, leaves at the first opportunity, but will decide to stay if comfort is high. Gambles a lot, nah. Vegan, nobody cares. Right, so I think we'll go with that. Rocket capacity is 12. There's 35 applicants that match what our criteria is. What if we click review, what does that do? Oh, it shows us who we're getting. Ah, oh, very nice. An adult medic from China. An adult male engineer from France. He's got traits, she's got enthusiast. Increased performance boost when at high morale. He has fit, more health recovered while exercising. Can work when health is low. Is a vegan, don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> Hippy. Gains twice as much comfort in gardens and parks. All right, so that's quite cool. We can see them all there, but none of it really matters all that much. We can actually request a particular one of these guys comes. Homer Lee, no specialization, but I don't really care. I'm gonna let the game really pick who comes. Uh, and I actually wanna do, um, where are we? Dome spires, water reclamation system, recycle 70% of water. That'd be quite nice, but it's really expensive. Decorations now, let's get some of this. Um, small alleys. Let's just pop that up there. I'm just, again, I'm just throwing things at the wall here. I don't really know the significance of a lot of these things. I'm just popping in as much as I can into the dome. We statue here, which costs how much concrete? One. Yep, no problem with that. A wee garden. Pop that in there. Right, so we have one building not working, one cable malfunctioning, and we have a building with depleted deposits at. So that one's not going because it's already used all of its stuff. Which, yeah, warning, no deposits. So basically, time to dismantle it. Salvage. We'll, we'll refund three metal and one machine part. So we're going to salvage that just now. And we could construct another one and overlap this bit because it's out of reach basically. So we will use our production. Concrete extractor requires six metal and one machine part. We want it to be overlapping what's left here on the concrete. But we can't until we dismantled that one. Great. This game's kind of fiddly at times, I think. So that will be getting dismantled. Our rocket is on the way, as you can see it's progress there. 37%, 38%. It'll be here quite soon, actually. Pretty quickly indeed. We'll get them in, we'll get them set up. And hopefully get this thing dismantled soon. Well, I think it's already dismantled. It actually leaves that really ugly ruin, doesn't it? The ruins of abandoned building can be cleared for resources or rebuilt. We can't clear it because we need the decommission protocol tech. So it's just going to kind of sit there just now. Well, we can build the other one. We can't build the other one. Ugh, that's a bit of a nuisance. 
you build it there and it can get a little bit of the concrete is it worth it? Available resource, so it tells us we're getting 68 there 55, 57 so we can still get 68 c concrete out of this is it worth it? I think we'll do it just now we'll build a wee power cable to it just kind of sneaking through here, going around like that, connecting to this little power source. It is not the neatest thing in the world. I've never been one for building really nice pretty colonies in, in any game actually. But we're about to get our humans in. They will have living quarters. They won't have like a grocery shop or anything. So we could be in a bit of bother on that front. But they should have everything they need to survive. Water, oxygen, place to stay. We've got a gym there to work out. One building not working needs maintenance, which is done automatically by drones. But we are now going to be down. In fact, do we have any polymers left? We don't have any polymers left, which means we can't actually repair that battery. So we need to get some of them in. So we need actually a resupply rocket. So we all get a cargo rocket. Rockets unavailable. Oh god, we don't have any rockets left. Okay, now we're in a bit of trouble. I think we might have made an error there. Oh well, let's just plug in a lot, plug along and see what happens. I have a horrible feeling something bad's gonna happen, but we'll see. We'll see. The drones are doing their thing. We'll get this guy now who's loaded up 15 metal. We will get him to unload his resources down there. rockets at 95 percent it's almost here we'll get those guys here as i say and then we'll call it an episode and we'll really get get to see what they actually do next time out so it is at 100 percent ready to land the passengers on board will die if we don't land in 119 hours and we can't send for the next rocket we're low on metal resources we need to we need a metal extractor staffed by colonists can we build one of them Mm, doesn't look like we can, no. Oh no, wait, we're in the wrong bit. Production, metal extractor. Extract metals from underground deposits. Cost 20 concrete, 5 machine parts. Do we have that? We have 4 machine parts. Of course we do. So we can't actually make that. And uh, we could be in a bit of bother. If we go up here, do we have any surface metals anywhere here? Rare metals metal uh, underground metal water <laughs> underground metal metal over there 33 metal so like that we can go and get the go and get this RC transport to pick up some of that stuff so we'll go and get those metals for example and can bring them over we can use them to build but we're in a little bit of a situation here regarding our resources but we will get a rocket landed and put it right there so our colonists can just dash right into the dome building's not working we have two now which is a concern we know of that one already and that one's now on the blink as well because we don't have any polymers to fix them however our colonists are here full of hope and determination the first founders have set foot on the red planet the next 10 sols or days basically will be full of difficulties and dangers but also with great promises and opportunities it is now it is now to us to prove that Mars can be a doorway to greater riches in the future of the human civilization. Even the most epic adventures begin with a single step. So the arrival of additional colonists is temporarily suspended until this colony proves uh, that Mars basically can sustain human life. Our founder colonists must survive for 10 sols or days before additional people can arrive. So that's fine. Hint, the colony will be evaluated positively before the period ends in the event the first human is born on Mars which is unlikely to happen. If you feel you're up to the challenge, try constructing a medical building and raise the comfort of the founder as much as possible with service building. So that's probably not going to happen, but here they are arriving now. There they go. Oh, well, let's slow down a wee bit here. Let's zoom in and see them make their mad dash towards the dome. There you go. And they are, they're out of their mad crazy suits now. Ha, <laughs> that's cool. So they've got their stats here, living quarters, unemployed and stuff, because they don't have the workplaces, they're not built yet. 
living quarters and stuff that's being constructed, the research lab, so hopefully we've got some scientists. Can we look through them? We can indeed. Medic, geologist, so the geologist will work in the uh, research lab. No specialization, which kind of sucks. Engineer, botanist will work in the lab, scientist will work in the lab, so hopefully those guys can get some research going here. When the research lab is constructed, we can have a real look at what it's doing. almost there now and this will give us kind of an idea of the stuff that they work on as three buildings are now not working are the batteries nope that has no power because the battery oh the batteries all the batteries stored power can't be used at the moment great so we don't have our sensory tower up and running uh, anyway Right, there you go, so three people are now working on the research lab, and it, ah, okay, it produces 156 daily beakers of um, research, so if we do look at our research just now here, things are costing a thousand beakers, so it's going to take 10 days, basically, for that lab to actually produce everything that we need. Research per day is 256, so it's going to take about four days to research some of these techs, which is pretty decent, I would say. But that's the basics of our first little colony set up here. Um, what's this guy all about? Don't know why he's popped up. Maybe that's just to let us get into our colonists. Either way, what we really need to be focusing on next time out is getting some metals. As uh, we know, we've got our guy up here. Our, our RC transport is up there loading some metals to bring them back. We need to find a way to actually get another rocket. Uh, I think we need to get something that can send them back which is a bit tricky so we do need to get something to send those rockets back or we can actually can we buy another rocket I can't don't recall oh we can we can buy a rocket there you go for 500 million of our 7.7 7, thousand million <laughs> alright we'll just buy a new rocket then load it up prefab buildings drone hub definitely need a drone hub all the rest of it we don't get well Polymer factory. Yep. Two drone hubs in a polymer factory, 300 million each. RC Rover can command drones. We definitely would like one of those. Drones we don't care about at the minute. We don't need concrete or metals. We can extract those. Food. Yeah, we might as well bring some food along. Polymers will bring quite a lot along as well. Machine parts the same. Okay, we'll go down a little bit on polymers and food. So we can bring more machine parts, more electronics. And we'll launch that rocket. So that's where we're going to stop just now with that rocket launch. We're going to call it an episode here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Uh, we're sitting pretty much for every episode, around right about that kind of 20 to 30 minute mark, like we do with the Football Manager episodes. Hope you guys are enjoying something a bit different. You can probably tell that I'm sort of feeling my way through this game. I've not played it past this point, so we really are in the dark at the moment. Um, in terms of the Surviving Mars series, it's going to maybe be a little more intermittent, obviously, than Football Manager. Football Manager is the main thing that people have subscribed to this channel about, so I do want to make sure... Uh, while I'm busy with work and things like that, that I'm still getting those football manager things up. But we are going to still be playing through Surviving Mars. It's a game I'm enjoying quite a bit just now, actually. So we will keep playing this uh, until we establish a nice flourishing colony or everybody dies. So uh, if, either, if either one of those sounds good to you, then uh, please subscribe to the channel and you can follow the series. Uh, we've obviously got our Football Manager series with Ajax and Rangers going on just now. So if you want to check those out, that would be great. But mostly I would appreciate if you subscribe, if you like the videos, anything like that, please do, um, you know, leave a comment, get in touch, like the video, subscribe to the channel, anything. Greatly appreciative of that. But mostly just thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time when we're trying to get some of these, uh, some of these resources.